he's looking to the right and this guy's open, but he's looking to the underneath receiver. Uh, also on the other side of the field, he's open and then he's open. Um, he throws the ball away. <sighs> so, yeah. So what my, my deal with Wilson here is he should know that on the back side over here, he's got man to man coverage. You see it. He should know that the route combination on the left is a man coverage beater. This guy is running a pick, a rub route. It works. He's open. That was easy. You should have known before the snap this, it would have been open on the left, but you didn't look left. Okay, Zach, you're looking right. That's fine because it's an open receiver here too, and you should be looking high to low, not low to high. That's the check down. But you make up your mind now that you're going to him, and it's wrong. They read you. He's open. Either way, you should have been going to the left side of the field. Before the snap, this guy right here in man-to-man -man coverage should have indicated that you're looking left, not right, dude. So let's look at from the end zone. Where are you looking? Seems like maybe you lead these, these zone defenders to the ball. They're reading your eyes and they think you're going here because you are going here. And then this leaves him open. Still, this is just pitch and catch if you'd seen it. And you should have recognized it before the snap. It's there. Never saw it. And so what does he do? He holds the ball. He holds the ball. He still never looks over there. Because he feels like even if he misses an open receiver, the play is not over. He can make a play. In this case, he throws it away. Never looks. Right? Now we got second and 10. Hand off. It's a nice gain. First down. Quarterback run. It's part of his game. It doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, ha, ha, not him. Ha, ha. Number three. I'm going to say, dude, I don't think you could be running like that in the NFL, lowering your shoulder like that, bud. Uh, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Number three, you do that. <laughs> Good call, coach. All right. Wilson, back in the game. Drops back. Has 89 wide open. Doesn't throw it to him. Holds onto the ball. And it gets tipped. I mean, is 89 not open like right now? He's open. Throw him the ball, man. What are you waiting for? Okay. So it's second and 11. You could have got the ball to your tight end. Maybe he gets five yards, six yards, seven yards. Instead, you're waiting to go where? Did you want to take the shot up the field? You didn't do that either. It seems like you were thinking about it. Well, what's it this guy? You want to throw to him? Well, he's pretty much bracketed. That's not going to happen. So you just run around. Now you got a guy in your face. Now you got two guys in your face. Now the ball gets tipped. Okay. Again, his he's he's a he's a lot less. His game is a lot less pretty when people are in his face. And he does a lot of floating backward. Floats back, floats back, floats back, kind of like Kyler Murray. He plays a lot like Kyler Murray without the elite athleticism. He's very athletic, though. Floats back, floats back, floats back, steps up, gets sacked. Was anyone open? Well, how about this guy? How about that guy? I mean, dude, how about this guy? I don't know, man. He really holds the ball a long time and doesn't anticipate open. The guy's open. You could throw it right here, but the guy's in your face. You could also throw it right here. Either one. Maybe this is too, too ambitious, but that's a nice little check down option as opposed to just giving ground, giving ground, giving ground, getting set. The running back. Throw it to the running back. Nope. Doesn't throw it to the running back. Is there, is there a flag though? Be a little flag, a little hold action, and a hold. So I guess they don't do anything on this one. Okay, first and 10. I don't know what the, I don't know. First and 10. I can't follow this game. It's really confusing. Hand off. Second and six. Uh. 
Uh, Zach. Zach, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> but see, he can do stuff like this, and probably he's going to run for 30 yards now. There he goes. And he'll get the first down. It's a really nice play, but I just think it's a bad habit. I don't. I think it's a bad habit. It's not going to work in the NFL consistently. This is Johnny Manziel stuff. Look at him. First of all, his first read is open here. Then this guy's open. I mean, he's open. He's open. He's open. Running down the down the field. Pick one. Three guys. The out. The curl, the go. He's like, nah, 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 nah. They're not going to be much more open than that in the NFL, Zach. And so you hold it, you run around, and then you just, okay, now you're an amazing athlete. Great. But we'll see if you can make, wow, that's pretty nice, though. <laughs> that is nice. But, dude, uh, it's going to lead to a separated shoulder in the NFL. I'm sorry. I just feel like, on this play, you know, Kyle Trask throws the go ball. Uh, Josh Rosen probably throws this one over the middle or or the go ball. Zach Wilson does a Kyler Murray thing. It's great. It worked for him. But you see what he wants to do. When the chips are down, he, this isn't open enough. This isn't open enough. That's not open enough for him. I mean, he trusts his legs first and foremost. That's his game. It's a really nice juke, though. Okay, first down. Back shoulder. Oh, this is this is I, hard to fathom. This throw. This is what question makes me question his arm. Like, what the hell was that, man? How do you have the ball just like fall out of your hand like that? I mean. What? That's not tipped. Did it just slip? That's a terrible throw. And again, why does why does Zach Wilson trust his legs more than his arm? Because stuff like this happens when he throws. He's not the most consistent thrower, although he has talent. That was just, whoa. Anyway. As Ralph Macchio would say in My Cousin Vinny. Oh, he was really good in My Cousin Vinny. I forgot he was in that. Karate Kid. All right, handoff. Turn two. Are going to let him throw? Or is he going to run? Let's see. Run. Handoff. Person 10. Sacked. Not his fault. Uh, the right... Guard gets beaten instantly. Now, I mean, this guy is open now. If he had gotten the... Nah, it would have been a fumble if he tried to throw. Rosen got sacked like this a few times against USC. I'm not going to hold this against Zach Wilson. That's a sack. At least he didn't fumble. Kind of amazing they didn't fumble this one, actually. Look at it. How did he not fumble? Wow. Stuff. Strong hands. Okay, hands off. Third and 12. Steps up. And misses. What happens? Tipped. USC, they do that. First and 10. Hand off. And an eight. And off. Third and six. This is interesting. In this game, I noticed BYU goes up tempo, and all of a sudden in the second half, USC can't even line up. They can't even get substituted. So this is third and six, and this is a little bit of like an Aaron Rodgers play. Like, call the snap while these guys are coming off and these guys are getting set and no one's in proper position. And boom, wide open guy over the middle, strike, nice play. You like that uh, Zach Wilson can lead an up-tempo offense. Um, it was pretty cool. 
little Aaron Rodgers esque. Never saw UCLA do that with Josh Rosen against USC. Um, probably because that UCLA coach was god awful. This play's going nowhere. Okay, that's another run. Second and nine. Empty backfield. Pitch and catch, quick throw to a receiver running a, uh, a curl. He does this a lot. He likes it right now. I, I pointed this out with Rosen. He didn't do it in the game. That's throwing with anticipation in the sense that he knows he wants to do it. And it has to come out quick before the guy makes his break. Otherwise, it's a pick six. Great throw, strike, nice. Third and three. It's a Drew Brees throw right there. Handoff. First down. Roll right. You see these design rollouts for Zach Wilson two, three times a game because he really can throw well on the run. Another, he gets a flag here. I mean, he is good at throwing on the run, but I think what makes him special is just how quickly he moves. Like he gets way out there. I don't know if, if Rosen could have made it all the way out there as quickly. I don't think he could have. Gives him a good angle on the throw, makes it a really short throw, and it's a completion. Here he goes under center, under center. Zach Wilson, Kyle, you getting this? You getting this? Play action. Oh my God, he's doing he's doing what he would do in your offense, and it's a really nice throw. I got to give him credit. He goes to his second read. Turns his back on the defense, gets his head around quick. He's looking here. It's not open. He gets over here to set number two. Boom, hits him. Now, he makes the receiver stop. Could have got some yards after the catch. Still an excellent play, though. You'd like a little bit better of, a, of like a play fake. Like, really hold that ball out there, man. But, okay, it works. Steps up. Bodies around him. Nice little flick throw. I like it. That's an NFL throw for sure. Another run. Okay, second and nine. That's another sinker. Looks like a catch, though. And a nine again. Well, hold on. Oh, it's incomplete. Misses. What are you telling me? No, third and two. See, there you go. He made it. Good for you, Zach. I always believed in you. <laughs> Hand off in the red zone. Fourth and one. Uh, Naval Academy play. 